Okay, let's do this full release. My second time in Nomad. I don't know how long time ago I actually played the initial release, I'll say. I said that I'll be back for the campaign mode, Crystal Hunt, whatever the case is, and here it is. Wasn't really keeping touch with what's been happening with certain mechanics and just features, but I have a general gist of what to expect, but mostly it's gonna be a blind run and hopefully it's gonna be as good as they say. <laughs> Well, there's no voiceover, so... Oh damn, it looks even worse than I remember. That's kinda crazy. Head towards the gate inside the cave. Oh, I love that there's an actual tutorial. How nice. The brutality of precision. Hey, I'm finding a clone. <laughs> the music. Get off me! I'll take this. Oh, that's a very sharp sound effect. I like that there's actually a start to an adventure. Yeah, that works as well. Wow. <laughs> How are the controls more understandable now, this setting? Maybe because before there was literally nothing. Huh. Yeah, that's the physics engine to you. I wanted to kick him. <laughs> oh, this is also going to be parkour. That's a lot of reading. I think it's gonna be a bit easier than Bone Lab. At least I hope so. Where am I going anyways? Ah, 
I'm fine. It's huge. I guess everyone's an enemy, so. the tactics I don't remember if there was like a durability system But I guess if I want better graphics, I'll just go on PCVR. Apparently, it's literally the same thing, mechanics wise. When you turn your head, it really gets wonky. That's mysterious. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'll probably mostly focus on the combat situation for now. Because you're literally just exploring the area, going into the unknown. <gasps> Where am I going? I know we're like outside of the whole main menu situation or something. It was essentially revamped, but... It's also not really straightforward what to do. That's out of reading that I don't have time for. I mean, the theme is literally Crystal Hunt, so... Maybe that's that? That pushed me. <laughs> what the? I guess common collected. <laughs> also, no indicators if you actually grabbed something. Get your feet there, mate! Oh my god, this is just flashbacks to Bon Lab. <laughs> Thank you. 
I am a complete noob by now. Damn, the dynamic suddenly dropped. I really didn't know where to go. We've been here, so... Maybe more deeper, like... <laughs> to the boat? Come on. I tried. Normally there would be something there. Maybe I need to go? Okay, well... Oh. I suppose I was supposed to go here. Hello, mate. You're most welcome to the Baron's Bounty. We need a Baron. I've been told all about your quest to our mutual friend Affleck, and as a personal favor to him, I'm going to help you get started. If you're the busy type, I won't keep you. I wrote down everything you need to know in that note right over there by the map. Otherwise, if you got some time, follow me to the store. A ramshackle store on the edge of the storm. You don't need to say it. Who shops here, right? Well, you'd be surprised. Let's just say my customers are mainly the folk who don't like to shop while looking over their shoulder. You know what I mean? So listen, I don't need to tell you that the mainland is a hornet's nest of violence right now. The recent discovery of those ancient Dalgarian runes in Erden has triggered a mad rush to be the first to find pillage the treasure. Crystals mainly, or more specifically, crystal cores. You might think you know sorcery. This is the difference between lighting a flame on your finger and burning down an entire village. Powerful stuff. But listen, I'm Santari. You don't need to tell me why you seek these runes. And if you're a crystal user, hey, that's your business. But you need to know that this quest is going to put you head to head with every invested faction across Eridan. I'm talking bandits to fortune chasers to the crown of Eridan itself. You don't even want to know about the eye. That said, if you're determined to undertake this quest, you go find yourself in Dalgarian ruins, and I'll get you started by giving you a piece of ancient Centauri wisdom. Don't do the work that someone else has already done. The mountains are swarming with Iradian soldiers by day, bandits by night, all searching for Dalgarian ruins themselves. And with that, these factions have taken a temporary residence in the previously abandoned outposts all over Eridan as they explore and map out the terrain. My advice? Get in there, and whether by blade or sorcery, retrieve those maps. This should fast track you to the location of any Dalgarian ruins already discovered. And from there, well, good luck is all I can say. There's one such outpost nearby, and I've done you the favour and marked it on your map. Visitors to my island often carry those, so I'll mark more locations on the map each day as I hear about them. Well, that's about it. Good luck, my friend. Those sound effects need to come down. That's interesting that we can buy equipment for our endeavors. 
It looks a bit rusty to me, but... I don't even know what certain stuff does. I have no money, so... I shall be off to the... something. I mean... It's not the same place? <laughs> No. But I kind of remember this setting. I'm not into stuff. I suppose I'll be just plundering the equipment. I'm bullshitting me. No mercy. I'm searching for the maps, that's the goal. To unlock further locations. I'm in the chaotic mode, so it's not like I'll be really focused on what's going on. <laughs> We're not in Star Wars. That's locked. <laughs> I think the combat is upgraded from the previous time I've been here. They definitely do that themselves. I guess I am collecting those crystals. <laughs> I have too many weapons. I'm lost. What you gonna do? <laughs> it is a true RPG. Just collecting bullshit. <laughs>
We're gonna be camping here. Where am I even going? I definitely struggle with the ledges. Okay, kick them. Oh, forward. I dropped my weapon. No, no, no. No magic. <laughs> mm. I want as well. Oh, now you're talking. Nice jiggle. It's like never ending. But I'm going somewhere. Ah. Oh, this is unstable. I don't know if I can trust this. It's very primitive. That's full on physics, then. I feel like with more confidence, I would definitely excel here. I 
I'm probably just too hesitant to do all of stuff. First treasure. Ah, so that's it. And then to get other locations, you need to repeat it, and you'll get your rewards as well. So, is this kind of roach like solution with? Progression, rewards. We know those stuff, but maybe not necessarily in this specific setting. I definitely appreciate the guidance and going for the first time, I will know what's happening. Certain mechanics, I think still are a little bit blurred, but it could be also treated as a tutorial section, actually, for the first time to then transfer it into some sandbox made chaos. We know it's not a technical marvel on the quest platform, like having this physics engine running is a feat by itself. If the resolution would not be as bad, maybe I wouldn't mind it with the texture quality. It feels somewhat realistic with shadows, Ocean simulation is also interesting. Like it's there, but I suppose the technology is still not enough to have a full-on experience of that sort. I do like this game mode. You have a complete freedom of your actions and going blind into it, you might be a little bit confused, but over time, I'm sure I would be putting out better performance, but then again, it's in a long run, this kind of thing. Like, the progression is not fast at all.